This is Dan of Gaming Nonsense Uncensored. We're going to show you Dungeon Roll. This game is awesome from Tasty Minstrel Games. And personally, it's one of our favorite little fillers. Now, when you get the game, you can notice a whole bunch of different dice in here. And you're going to get a sheet of these little tokens that look like this. They're all different treasures that'll help you out on your quests. Plug all your dice. And this game is super quick and super easy. It's one of our favorite, favorite games to break out to new gamers. So you'll notice the dice has two different colors. You have seven of your black dice, which is what you roll for the dungeons. And you have seven hero dice. Now, the dice will have different facings. So you'll have like some wizards, fighters, clerics. These are champions. And what these guys will do is they help you defeat the monsters. So the way the game starts is super easy. What you're going to do is you're gonna randomly take a character. So let's just say we happen to get this one, the occultist. Every character will have a special power and then a one time per dungeon power. So think of it as the way to help save yourself if things are looking bad. The game starts out, you roll your seven hero dice. You're gonna organize them out so you're gonna see here I got a scroll, a fighter, four wizards, and a rogue. And this is your dungeon die. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna set it to level one. Now, after you have your dungeon ready and everything else, the next character, we will, what we usually do, we'll roll the dungeon dice. We're on level one, you roll one monster dice. You'll see I got a treasure chest. What you get to do is with the treasures, you actually take this box, you open up, you blindly reach inside, and that is your reward. If you want to press your luck and go on, so like take for example for this chest, I want to have my wizard open it up, my wizard is now out, and I have six people left. If I want to press my luck, I go to two, that's how many dice my opponent rolls. Now I'm fighting two skeletons, and so on and so on. Uh, the game has a couple of nice little features. You'll notice that certain monsters match up to certain colors on the die. What that does is when their colors match, like take for example the purple wizard hat, normally when you fight monsters, it's one for one. But if the colors match, he can take out multiples of these. So if I'm fighting two slimes, one wizard can knock them all out. But if I was using a fighter, he would only defeat one meaning I would have to use another die to take care of this guy. So it's a little bit of press your luck. It has potions that'll let you bring back guys, scrolls that'll let you reroll dice. Um, you'll have the champions that can defeat anything of the same type. So if you were to have a couple of goblins running around, one champion can knock all three of these goblins out. And one of the best parts is the dragon. Every time somebody rolls a dragon for you, they put it to the side. When you only have one or two in there, that's fine. But once the third dragon comes out, you now have to fight the dragon's lair. And the dragon is so powerful, it requires three different hero types to defeat. So as you're going on, you gotta figure out when you wanna press your luck and when you don't. If, when you're done with your dungeon, so let's just say I made it to level four, and I only had one guy left, and I think now's a good time to leave. You leave the dungeon, you'll take four of the experience point tokens and put them by your character. Once you hit five XP, you flip over and you become a more powerful version of yourself. And then play progresses to the next player. They're gonna take the dice, they're gonna roll up their party, and you're gonna start rolling for their dungeon. So it's super quick, super easy, you get three chances at the dungeon in total, and whoever has the most experience points at the end wins. So I would definitely recommend this game. It is awesome. The box is super cool. Um, the bits and tokens are really nice. I mean, you have tons of little rewards inside of here, which is fantastic. Um, I keep my XP tokens a little separate. They're really cool too. And I mean, it's just super fun. And the expansions are great. They're really affordable and they have even more character classes. And they even recently released a Hero Pack 2 that has like legends. 
So if you're looking for a little game to play in between your heavy Euros or just something for a little fun night with your family, something that's easy to learn, quick to play, and you'll even start to see people cheering when they feel like they're so close but they don't know if they can handle the next level, I would definitely suggest Dungeon Roll by Tasty Minstrel Games. Now, if you guys like this game like we do, we want to know about it, you can always hit up us on Twitter at GNU Podcast or go on our Facebook group at facebook.com slash gaming nonsense uncensored and tell us what you think about Dungeon Roll. All right, guys, once again, have a good one and go roll some dice with Dungeon Roll.